Hi. So Saturday mornings used to be my ritual to go down to um, the nearest cafe, buy a beautiful big breakfast and um, hoe down. Uh, but these days money's always tight and you know I think it's actually a lot better to make it at home because I know exactly what's going in it. Um, I've always been a sucker for a breakfast wrap so um, over the last couple of months I've been experimenting uh, but this one is my absolute favorite and I just wanted to show you how I make it. It's really simple, really fast and um, yeah saves you spending money and not knowing what you're going to get. So here's my brekkie burrito. So I start off with these beautiful wraps. These ones are whole grains so even though I usually don't eat much bread or anything I do when I do I eat sort of wraps or mountain bread because it's a little bit lighter and it still gives me that taste. And these make awesome chips too if you ever want to um, toast them. Um, so I start off with that putting a little bit of avocado on it. Um, I turn my oven to about 180 and um, let that heat up while I get everything else ready. Now because this is a beautiful uh, video, I have prepared stuff earlier for you. So I prepared my egg in the microwave. Yes, I know people think that's really naughty, but if you're in a hurry, I think every now and then to use it's fine. Obviously, I'd prefer to use the stove as well, but can't win everything. Uh, so what I'm going to put on it today, chorizo sausage, just because I had it in the fridge. You can use bacon, or if you prefer, uh, if you're not a big meat eater, you can put um, some five bean mix or four bean mix on there um, just to give that extra kick. Got some yummy tomato and my favorite silver bean. So I'll start assembling and show you as we go. Chorizo's on there. One bit didn't quite make it. Now you can add some sauce on it as well if you prefer. Um, I think the chorizo sausage is pretty spicy anyway, but if you do want to add some, um, I personally will add Tabasco because I like the extra kick, but a tiny bit of tomato sauce or um, barbecue sauce isn't that bad really. Um, it's even better if you make it yourself. <laughs> but yeah, go with that. Now I'm going to wrap it. I'm going to wrap it more like a, a pocket though so that it's pretty enclosed in there. It just makes it a lot easier to eat. So I'll wrap it and show you how to wrap it. And there you go. <clears throat> All wrapped up. Now see how these little bits sort of popping out? Don't worry too much about that because when you go to put in the oven, It'll stay like that and then as it cooks it'll sort of get a little bit more crunchy over there and hold still. So now I'm going to put that on my oven tray with just with some alfoil on the bottom and I'm going to probably cook it for about I'd say 10-15 minutes. Um, well just, just keep your eye on it and see what you think but I like to just make sure this bit's nice and crunchy and you can't really overcook what's inside because it's nice there's some nice um, moisture in there from the silver beet. And the chorizo sausage has always got extra like fats in there that can help cook as well. So stick that in the oven and, and there we go. So that's all done. See how it's sealed nicely on the bottom from the oven? So even if it does look like it's going to fall apart a little bit at the ends, don't worry because the oven will make it all beautiful just like that. Now that is one beautiful, beautiful brekkie burrito ready to go. So there you go, easy breakfast, ready for you and the family. Uh, you know, these are so easy, five minutes prep, uh, and then you can leave them in the oven and, and go and do other stuff while you're waiting for them. And you know exactly what you've put in there. There's no plasticky cheese or, you know, powdered egg or anything. It's all just what you've made. Uh, for me, brekkie is the most important meal of the day because it sets you up uh, for all the energy that you're going to, you know, use up during the day doing your bits and pieces. So make sure you have a nice big brekkie like that and, you know, the, the gap between then and lunch won't feel so bad. <laughs> enjoy your weekend and enjoy your day. I'll see you next time.